What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So nowadays most users are installing ColorOS on their OnePlus smartphones. For example, OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9 series. And as you all know, ColorOS have lot many Chinese applications pre-installed and those can't be uninstalled easily. And few of them can't even be disabled. So in this video, we'll show you how to uninstall all those blotwares from OnePlus smartphones running ColorOS. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see I have two phones. This is my OnePlus 9, which is also running on the ColorOS 12. And towards the right hand side, this is my OnePlus 8 that is also running on ColorOS 12. And guys, both these devices have received the latest build of ColorOS, which comes with 5th Feb 2022 security patch. You guys can check out the videos given in the description below to install ColorOS 12 on your OnePlus 9 or OnePlus 8 series. And before starting with the video, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video. And we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request. Do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload any new video. And now talking about uninstalling bloatwares from ColorOS. So here you can see on my OnePlus 9, I haven't uninstalled any bloatwares till now. But on my OnePlus 8, I've almost removed all the Chinese apps which were pre-installed. So if you take a look at the app drawer on OnePlus 8, you won't find much of Chinese applications now. The only two applications which I wasn't able to uninstall, one was this app store or app market. This app can't be uninstalled using ADB and the second app which I wasn't able to uninstall was theme store. So these two apps can't be uninstalled right now without root access. And here on this device, you can see we have almost all the Chinese applications. Now talking about the uninstallation process of these applications. So for this, you guys will be requiring a PC and on your PC, you need to download an application called ADB App Control. So download link can be found in the description below. Once you download this application, just open it. Current version is 1.7.3 and soon you open the application it will show you in quick start guide for once make sure to read all these things. So this will be the interface of this application after you open the application it will ask you to connect your device. First of all what you have to do is first go to about section under version you need to tap on the build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. Once you see that just go back go to system settings scroll down to developers option and from here you need to enable USB debugging. Once you do that, then connect your device to PC. After you connect your device to PC, there are possibilities you might see a pop-up. And once you see this pop-up, tap on always allow and allow. Soon you do that, it will again ask you to install AC bridge. Just tap on yes and you'll again get a pop-up on your device to install the application called AC bridge. Just tap on install now. To install applications from unknown sources on ColorOS, you need to log in with your account. Once you verify the account, you can easily install the AC Bridge application. So we have already installed. Soon you install the application, you'll get a pop-up to allow access to storage. Just allow all the necessary permissions and now you're good to go. So now you'll see entire list of the applications which are present on your device. Towards the right hand side, it will also show you the RAM usage and other stuff. On the top side, you have options to switch between only system applications, user, the applications which you have deleted or disabled. And guys, before uninstalling or disabling the app, make sure you are aware about the functionalities of those apps. By mistake, if you remove any system application, your device might get bricked. So avoid touching such system applications which can lead to breaking your device. And before uninstalling, make sure to download an app called App Extractor. So if you make any mistake, you should have a backup of the applications. To take a backup of the application, you just need to tap on that application, allow access to storage, and that app will be stored in your internal storage of your device. And now let's uninstall the system applications or the applications consisting Chinese language. So here are the applications. In these, most of the applications doesn't have Chinese language, but few of them do have. And there'll be other applications like Oppo. These applications can be uninstalled by tapping on app info and install them manually. You can still use your PC to uninstall them. So let's go to PC. First, we'll uninstall all the user applications. So first one will be, I'll be uninstalling health application, mail application, Oppo family, smart homes, sloop cut, OnePlus Community and OnePlus Play. So total seven number of applications we have selected right now. Later on the right hand side, you'll see an option to select between disable, uninstall or save. So we'll disable the applications instead of uninstalling them. Though if you try to uninstall also, 
you'll get a pop up here asking you to create a backup of those files but i'll not recommend you guys to uninstall those applications completely you can just disable them so let's select disable and by disabling there are less chances that your device might get bricked if anything happens you can just enable those applications from your device itself so we have selected seven applications let's disable them and on the device here you can see these are the applications soon i tap on disable most of the applications got removed so here you can see disable application 7 by 7 we'll also remove this brino shortcut disable apply and that's it now going to the system applications so now we are left with applications like music contact we obviously need that hate app cloud phone manager brino so brino basically this app i don't use at all because it's a browser and it has completely Chinese language. To search the application, you can just type the name of the application here towards the right top corner. Related to Brino, we have three applications. I'll disable all these three applications. And there we go. On the device, now we don't have that application. Now talking about other applications which are in Chinese language. So as I said earlier, app market can't be removed and also theme store can't be removed. Other than that, we have reader application. This is also in Chinese language. So let's search for this application. And from here, you can disable this application also. And that application have also been removed. And now we are left with only one application, which is music. And this app consists of Chinese language. So let's search for this application, music. And here we have the application, select, disable and apply. And there we go. Now we have removed almost all the Chinese applications or the blotwares. And guys, here we have wallet application and this can also be easily disabled. First, let me show you on the device. If you tap, go to app info, you don't get any option to disable or uninstall. But using this application, you can easily disable the system apps. And if you open app drawer, you can see we don't have this application anymore. So guys, this is the easiest way you can disable or uninstall system applications from any Android device. This is not only with Color OS, you can also do the same thing with Oxygen OS and also with other smartphones from different manufacturers. So guys, this was a quick look by which you can easily disable or uninstall system applications from any of your smartphone. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.